Well, another little, um, well, not so little, 127 garage sale acquisition. I saw this yesterday when I was out, but I only had my car, so I couldn't pick it up. So a buddy of mine just happened to stumble across it today and grabbed it for me. Just a cute little old um, 30s, 40s uh, Craftsman or Sears Roebuck bandsaw. The bearings still feel like they're in great shape. It's uh, not very pretty on the outside, but not really important. It's got a nice cast iron and steel frame. About the only thing I really need to do from what I can tell right now is some new uh, uh, wheel tires, some bandsaw tires, and um, some knobs and um, oh, what else? Um, blade guide. I think that was the other thing. Missing one of the blade guides, but definitely a, a nice little addition. I think considering the space situation inside the garage, <clears throat> What I'm probably going to wind up doing is trying to get this and a couple of other power tools that are less important to me outside so that I can free up more space in here. But one of the things I was shocked about is the cost of the bandsaw tires. I need to get a set for this and for a, um, oh, I think it's an old Bainbridge metal cutting bandsaw that I want to put back together also. But the bearings seem to be in excellent shape. This is uh, kind of a funny thing. It looks like that might actually be an original part to this machine and I just about threw it away. I just thought it was some piece of crap but a lot of the pictures I'm seeing of this particular model actually have that or a very very similar looking piece of wood secured in the throat area there. This thing was uh, 25 bucks so I would say for for the little bit of attention that it needs it was well worth $25 and it's very cute. It'll be a nice replacement for my modern three-wheeled bandsaw that I don't ever use hardly. And even the motor that comes with it is still working. I guess you can't really see but it's turning. It's doing its job. The, uh, the stand that somebody put this thing on, they really put a lot of time into building this stand. It's very well built other than it's missing a cross brace right now so it's a little bit wobbly but I just I really got a kick out of the way that they joined the, the sides and the, the sides of it together at the corners. semi-stable. I mean, it's, it's a little bit wobbly, all things considered, but I think it's going to be a nice addition once I get some, some new bandsaw tires on it. Anyways, I thought there might be a couple guys out there that get a kick out of something like this.